in three, two, one. <sighs> okay, it's a Q and A, Q and A, question and answer. Let's do this. Hello, hey, Yella. My name is Kogezo. Uh, welcome to I'm Kogezo, and this is Kogezo. So, my name is Kogezo Mohoko, and I was in Sunwood Park High School last year. I was in grade 12. I'm in my first year at UCT. And today is the QA uh, that is basically a get to know me tag, right? Because as I said, I'm going to do a two uh, part question and answer way. Today is on my get to know me personal questions, and the next video. Uh, that one will be on your academic based questions about um things you can do to do this or how to do this like questions to do with high school varsity and exams and stuff right but yeah let's get into this video okay so the first question here is how old are you how old am i <laughs> as we speak right now i'm actually okay my birthday is on the 3rd of august right and as we speak I'm actually about to turn 18. Shocking to most, but yeah. I'm actually about to turn 18. And then the next question is where am I from? So where am I from? Okay, in terms of like Ikaya, like where I am right now, I'm in Boxburg in Johannesburg. If you're in Cape Town and asking me where I'm from, I'd say in Suge Josie. And for someone who's in Josie asking me where I'm from, then in Makayawami it's at Northwest, yeah. I'm a Tswana boy and Kitwa Northwest and stuff, but ER. And the next question is, what course am I studying at UCT? So, yeah, as I said, I am a UCT first student, first year student, huh? Yeah, I'm a UCT first year student. And what course am I studying at UCT? Um, I'm studying a, a bachelor's degree in, okay, yeah, it's a, it's a bachelor of science, uh, commonly known as BSc. And I am majoring in mathematics, I'm majoring in human anatomy and physiology and in biochemistry. So it's a triple major. And and the next question is, uh, when I applied for a BSc, was I looking to get into medicine? And is that still something that I want to do? Um, when I applied, yeah, that was the intention. And am I still looking to do that? that's you know, I, I cannot be quite sure to be honest because i'm starting to like really enjoy mathematics and there's no maths in uh medicine so i could say i don't know to be honest but yeah that was the initial intention yes <laughs> yeah so uh the phone i was using to look at the questions is just switched off so now i'm checking them on the laptop and stuff so emma which questions have I answered yeah, so the next question is, how is university? <sighs> yeah, um, yeah, university is, yeah, it's going down. Yeah, it's going down. It's going, yeah, that's how it is. And then the next one is not particularly a question, but it's like two crying emojis uh, from Tutuga. I, I hope you're crying because of school, because yeah, yeah, that's one reason to cry. And then the next one from Alice, Alice, I trust Lord Mujapelo, uh, asking, do you miss seeing my face every day? Yeah, I do. I do miss seeing your face every day and stuff, but. It's fine. I mean, I had your picture on my profile picture, so it counts, I think. Yeah, it counts. <laughs> and the next question is very interesting. <laughs> it's asking, are you in a relationship? Not, not, not that I know of. Yeah, not that I know of. Then the next question is, what motivated me to start a YouTube channel? So, with this one, uh, 
obviously when you're in high school you keep watching videos of these varsity students uh they vlogging all these people like every single day hey guys welcome to my hey guys hey guys and then i'm like oh, oh whoa em it's too much of a trend that most if not all these youtubers are females so let me walk in and give people something different it's like now i was like you know let me introduce a bit of variation you know and that's why i was like you know what i'm going to do this youtube thing as a male so yeah the major reason was the gender i wanted there to be some male youtube some male south african youtuber who is because most male south african youtubers are Different. doing stuff and you're like they are you know ah you know i i just don't want to say people's sons but you know them all these people all these people doing all these things uh, kiss, hug, what, what, and so I was like, okay, let me do something different, yeah, well, so, yeah, that's essentially why I started the YouTube channel, I get, the next question is, <laughs> no disrespect, but please comment on your love life, okay, so to comment on my love life, I've been hurt, I've been hurt, you know, like, I've loved, for real, like, I've loved people, for real, done nothing wrong, and, just been hurt in jail, you know, just for vibes. And I, uh, uh so, <sighs> mm -mm. yeah, that's like, I'm happy. I'm actually enjoying my own company. Uh, before I post all my YouTube videos, I watch them by myself. I actually laugh at some funny moments of my own videos. And like, <sighs> I'm happy. Am I at my happiest? No. But am I happy? Yes, I'm very happy. Um, I'm sure I look like it, but yeah, I'm happy. How? Oh. And the next one, the next question, are you a people's person? Am I a people's person? I am. Like, I really am a people's person, but not in terms of um, like, like, you know, not, yeah. Like how people tell you, no, no, not like that. But in general, I am a people's person. Um, Yeah, I am. I am a people's person. I am. Huh. Okay. Now yeah, we have a question. Uh, another question here. Which huh. do you have a girlfriend? Hey. Now get baby. Okay, I, I don't. <laughs> As I said, not that I know of. Uh, I've never uh, and then the next question is how did your youtube channel grow fast so fast rather how did my youtube channel grow so fast i i just i just started you know i just started you know there was a time when i was on 18 subscribers for three months um i'm going to film a youtube video by the time you see this one i, will, I won't have filmed it yet but for whoever will be look, watching this video way after i've posted this video then there should be a video i'll put the link somewhere there oh okay, yeah i'm going to collab with ututuga and we'll be talking about how to get a how to start a successful youtube channel and that's when i'll be talking about the growth that is being asked but yar yar and the next question is can you tell us a bit more about your skotane era <laughs> yeah okay so it used to be is kotane right ikamalamlo kotane was sushi yeah sushi the one the yeah it was in grade i started in grade nine okay obviously like in grade eight when tandizi and i was following zonke kotana then grade nine i started taking everything seriously grade 10 i was a full-blown skotanos all out i was banking classes okay you're not the ends i mean but like yo i was yo yo how so she me doing all these stuff but yeah, and one thing about having been Iskotani, it might have been something I did like three years, four years ago, but I still remember every single, okay, not every single move, but most of these dance moves and stuff, it's like they are in my muscle memory because I would practice these, instead of practicing mats, I'd be practicing these moves because I know Friday, Gajai was going to do that every time, every now and then. And it didn't end well because for those who saw my video of, how I moved from uh, 30s to 90s in matric, I got a 23% for maths in my grade 11. Because of that, 
cars of Ubkotan. But one thing I learned, and I kept repeating to people, is that Ubkotan was a valid number. That thing will lock your brain, eh? But it's fine. That's a bit about my Ubkotan era. Okay, the next question is, how does it feel to be a YouTuber? You're... Okay, so, YouTube is a project. Um, being a YouTuber is actually stressful because I have to stress about the thumbnails of a video before I post it. I need to stress about the editing. Is the editing good when I add the music? Sometimes you add music and it gets uh, copywritten, if that's a word. No, it can't be. It gets copyrighted because it's copyright. Yes, it gets copyrighted. Like my metric dance vlog, uh, the video was removed from the public seeing it for like five months. And uh, YouTube sent me an email saying, yo, if you want your video to come back to the public, you need to remove the music. Huh? And then I said, okay, it's fine, you can remove. So now most of the parts of that uh, thing has no audio, no music whatsoever. So yeah, that's quite the stressful thing. But yeah, that's like YouTube is very stressful. Um, videos take up a lot of space. Uh, it's just a lot it's it's a lot but how does it feel to be a youtuber now, being a youtuber um it somewhat feels good but i repeat like even stressing about content like you need to post you need to be consistent and also have a life the many things i need to do but when you love it like i'd uh, i'd be posting uh every single week uh every two weeks twice a week sometimes even when i'm writing exams even when i'm going through a lot and that's because YouTube is the space where I know I can come to, you know, like YouTube is something that I love. So doing YouTube doesn't necessarily feel like a project. And it is a project because in part stress, but it doesn't feel so much as something that has a lot of weight, you know. It's just something that I love doing and I shall continue doing it for the, the longest time that I can. You know, for as long as God allows me the strength to do it, then I shall continue doing it. From me being Okokezo and me being I am Kokezo, there's no difference. It's still me. Uh, and yeah, that's why I named my YouTube channel I am Kokezo. So that it's not Bo Kokezo the boy or Kokezo RSA. I am Kokezo and that's who I am. So I, I just put myself out there. I put me and I remain humble. I, I can have, I don't know how many subscribers in this world, but I'll still see myself as a human being. I mean, Gafana and Abanyabandu. So yeah okay and the next question is how do i stay mentally and emotionally stable in a toxic household to keep my grades up i've never been in a toxic household uh but oh i have but i was still young <laughs> it was not a household per se but like my surroundings and stuff my first tip to this is to focus on what you can control um there are certain things that you can't control you can't control how your father talks to your mother you can't control how your grandmother addresses you but you can control how you act to that. So, like, just choose peace. That's literally what I used to tell myself at some point in life. Whenever Umuntu would come to me, uh, fighting for this or that, by choosing peace, you just keep quiet because you have nothing to lose. You have absolutely nothing to lose. If you choose peace, just keep quiet. You're not losing a million rands for keeping quiet. I'm pretty sure you broke anyway. Okay. And then you need to focus on the solution and not the problem. So the fact that this problem is called a problem is because it has a solution. And yeah, no no problem doesn't have a solution. They give you a math problem. It has a solution. It's just for you to find it. So the problem now is this toxic environment. What is your solution to leave this toxic environment? Focus on getting your grades up. Focus on studying. If the environment is toxic in a sense that Whenever you try studying, these ones are fighting, and you're trying to study. Even if it means going, buying some noise cancelling headphones, buying a headset, something, just to make sure that you focus, as I said, on what you can control, and you focus on the solution, which is getting yourself out of that environment. And that's you succeeding in life, going to race after race, buying your own house. So you do that, focus on what you're doing here, and then the rest will just come as uh, a byproduct, in a sense, yeah? The next question is, did I attend Saturday school at Karabo? If so, would I recommend it? Yes, I did attend at Karabo. And would I recommend it? Yes, without a doubt, without a doubt, without a single doubt in my mind, I recommend Karabo. For those who don't know, I'll leave, I hope they have a link. I'll leave a link in uh, my description. Uh, Karabo is an extra class uh, facility, not a facility per se, but it's 
uh, an organization. Yes, an organization that helps uh, uh, learners which are mostly in previously disadvantaged backgrounds and they give extra classes for maths, physics, life sciences, in fact, science and commerce, because there's even accounting there. And uh, every single year they produce good results. They have 100%, they have 97%. They have, I come from those extra classes. Uh, most of my friends come from those extra classes. Most of us were fortunate enough to perform really well in metric with the help of all those teachers. They take some amazing teachers. So yeah, I would I would recommend Karabo to be honest. Like, it, like Karabo really helped me. It feels weird how two of uh, the most important people in my life, both of their names are Karabo, but it's fine. And now the next one is websites that I used to study with in high school. Websites. I, uh, I don't use websites, but YouTube channels, YouTube helps. Um, I would watch, uh, Kevin Madison science, uh, the organic chemistry tutor and, um, Umlungi Sinkosi and Han Academy and my YouTube channel, but yeah. <laughs> and the next one is, it says, how do you balance your schoolwork and your personal life? Okay. It, it, it's two parts of the question, but yeah, my schoolwork, personal life, how do I balance them? I give my things time, you know, my personal life includes YouTube. Uh, football and boxing, which I don't do when I'm in Cape Town, uh, because I don't know. I just give them time, you know. I have a certain schedule thing that is designated to say, okay, at this time of the day, I'm doing this, and it's not like highly specific in a way that is going to like is on Kataza, you know. When I say, okay, from half past two to this, I need to be doing from half past because if I don't do that thing. Then I feel like I've left out the other one. Then I'll not do the rest. I don't know if I make sense. But what I'm saying is I prioritize. You need to have priorities. Um, I know that whether or not I post a video now or I post it tomorrow, there's not that much of a difference. But studying now and studying tomorrow, there is a difference because the time between exams, about if I'm writing tomorrow, I need to study today. But if I say now, I'll just study tomorrow morning because I need to film a YouTube video. That's not me putting my priorities right. I can go sleep for a whole year. When I wake up after sleeping 365 days, football still exists. It is Kilsase corner. And that's why I'm saying priorities. You need to prioritize your things. Know when, what is when, and the rest will just be history, you know? So, yeah, that's just how I balance them. And the second part of this is not necessarily a question, but Utwa, by the way, you're such an inspiration. Your, your messages and videos on YouTube always keep me going. Okay, um, I'm glad, as I said, uh, when I started this thing of posting these motivational quotes and stuff every single day, I was hoping to really get to people and seeing that I am really getting to people as planned, it makes me very happy and it makes me happier than I already am. And yeah, but, uh, thank you. I think those are all the messages. There's one that I thought I saw this one time. But it's fine. Let's leave it out. I'll probably put it in the next video. And now, so that is the end of the video. So, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is growing. It's coming right. And yeah, stay tuned for the next uh, video, which should be the part two of this Q&A. But it's a different Q&A and stuff. But yeah, this was a get to know me tag. And I hope now you really do feel like you know me. I'll do an updated one in a few months time or something because obviously people change because change is good, I suppose. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and click on the notification bell. You know, you need to get that ding when my message comes in, when my YouTube posts go on. So yeah, I hope for those writing exams as we speak, I hope your exams are coming right. And if you're done with the exams, I hope you really did do well. If you didn't, still not at the end of the world because there's still life outside of school. I'm not telling you to take a scholar, but if you get a chance to get rich without using school, go for it. Because Kolo is the troops. Otherwise, I love you, Allah. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace!